Whatever works, right? Okay. So, today we're going to talk about our new strategy. Our new strategy is called Go for the Gold. Oh, let's get back to the original page. Okay. So, this is how it basically works. On the top of your page, I want you to write Go for the Gold. Go for the gold. Honey, please put that away. Get out your notebook. Logan, notebook out. Is it one of the places we did it? Yep. Yep. You got it. Just go to the next link page. And at the top, right, go for the gold. Gold. Like, like shiny gold. Okay, so the way this is going to work is after each, we're going to read one sentence at a time. At the end of that sentence, you're going to write down one word from the sentence that you think is the most important. Then, when we get to the bottom of the paragraph, you're going to use the one word from each sentence that you wrote as being the most important. And we are going to decide which of those ideas was the most important part of the paragraph. And then when we're done with the whole page, we're going to write a quick one sentence summary that summarizes the main idea. So I don't want you to write all these instructions. I just wanted to give you an overview. Okay. We're going to try this together. Are you ready? So the number one, our job number one, is after we read each sentence, you're going to write one word from the sentence you think is the most important on your notebook. Got this? One word. Are you ready? No? Yes? Glass, are we awake? <laughs> okay. So whether you're awake or not, get ready. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is write down our title, Root to Success. Write that down. On a different page? Or nope, underneath it. When you're done, put up your pencil. So I know we can read the first sentence. This is going to be quick. Quick and peppy. Because otherwise it's going to take us forever. Okay? Quick and peppy. We can restart. Not today. That's a Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, ready? No. As I read the first sentence, your job is to find one word you think is the most important. Write that one word down. Thumbs up if you got that. For every sentence? For every sentence. So for every sentence, you're going to have one word. Okay? There we go. Known throughout the ancient world as sea traders, the Phoenicians work, worked hard to build a successful industry based on trade. Pick your one word, write it down. We got five seconds. Yes. Okay, ready for next sentence. Here we go. Pick your one word. Elaborate ships and expert navigators led this early civilization to economic and cultural growth. Take your word. Write it down. Sentence number three says... Learning shipbuilding skills and trade secrets from other societies, the Phoenicians soon surpassed other Mediterranean nations in the trade. Pick your words. Okay, we finished the paragraph. So now we're going to go back and we're going to do step number two. After finishing a paragraph, 
Use your words to determine which idea was most important in that paragraph. So talk at your table. Share with each other your three words. We have three sentences, so you should have three words written down. I want you guys to decide which of those three ideas was the most important for the whole paragraph. What do you think? Okay, let's chat, shall we? I want to know what one word did you think was most important in the first sentence, and I want to know why. Okay? Okay, why? It's underlined, so that means it must be important. Okay, Larissa, what do you think? Why? Because that's basically what the whole thing is about. Yes, and we know we've been learning about the Phoenicians for a while, right? So we could infer that we are already talking about Phoenicians. Good. Because, well, Miss Because you're to one word, you have to be really strategic, and we know we're reading about Phoenicians. So, so that's the that's that's going to override everything else. You want to go and find those important things about the Phoenicians. So I think I'm going to go with traders because if, if there's only one word, we know that we're talking about the Phoenicians and we know that they live by the sea. So traders would probably fit. All right. Let's talk about num sentence number two. Elaborate ships and expert navigators led this early civilization to economic and cultural growth. What word did you get? Robert, economic, okay. Why, why economic? What does that mean? Do you know? It does have to do with people. It also has to do with money. Okay. What did you think, Larissa? I thought navigator. No. They were shooting for Okay, and it did say that that was what led to the economic growth. Okay, I think I would pick growth. Why do you think I would pick growth? Because their skills grow and their economic. Yeah, it talks about economic and cultural growth. Right? And that one word growth tied into both. Okay. How about the third sentence? Learning shipbuilding skills and trade secrets from other societies, the Phoenicians soon surpassed other Mediterranean nations in the trade. What do you think was the most important word from that sentence? What'd you get? My cup. Surpassed. Surpassed. Why? Because they surpassed most other countries in economic. What does that word surpassed mean? Say it louder. To go above. Yeah, to go beyond or above and beyond what was already there, right? Good. Larissa? Um, I'm thinking learning. Okay. So learning is how they surpassed. Okay, I see that thinking. Now, here's our job, right? Our job now is to decide which of those three ideas was most important in that paragraph, number two. So out of traders, growth, and surpassed, what do you think is the main idea of what we're talking about the Phoenicians doing in this paragraph? What do you think? Talk at your table. What do you think? 
What's your most important part, though? The main idea. One word. All right, what do you think? Let's hear it. What was the most important part of that paragraph and why? Marissa? Traders, I think. Why? Because it basically describes the whole paragraph. Trading is how they grew, and trading is how they protect them. Okay, I see your thinking. Any other idea? No? I was thinking about surpass, but I, then listening um, to, to Larissa, I agree that their trade is what allowed them to surpass because they were able to move around and go find ideas from other people. Um, so whatever word you used in that middle sentence, that just contributed to their trade expertise. I agree. I was thinking the same thing, but I was thinking about growth. But again, in listening to Larissa's description, their trading is what allowed them to grow and surpass others, right? So I agree. Trading. Sounds good. Okay. We have one more sentence. It's its own paragraph. Okay. And then we're going to summarize in one quick sentence in our notes what this little blurb was about. Ready? Pick your word. Explore how the Phoenicians changed the trade world and beat out all other nations in establishing lucrative trade routes and powerful city-states across two continents. Mm. Pick your word. What you got? Write it down. And then tell the neighbor. What word did you pick and why? Ready to share out? Who's got a word for me? EJ. Lucrative. Why? Okay. What does lucrative mean? Do you know? What? Yeah, it means, again, that it made them a lot of money. Okay? I see that thinking. I chose powerful because the trading and the growth and the fact that they were able to pass does also show that they were Ah, because if they have a lot of money, if they have a lucrative trade route, then they're going to have power. Money equals power. Yeah. Good thinking. Where's that? I'm thinking establishing because like they had a established trade route and they're like not fortunate. And because they did the establishing of the route, that's what made them lucrative, therefore powerful. Mmm. Miss Rosario, what word were you thinking? I chose establish as well because established trade routes, established powerful um, city state. That's right. I was thinking routes, but now that I've heard some of your thinking, I think I agree with establish. Because if they hadn't been the ones to establish them, they wouldn't have made the money, it wouldn't have been lucrative, and they wouldn't have gained the power. So I agree. Now, our last little bit before we go to the next page is to summarize the main idea in a quick note in your notes. So one sentence that tells us Using these words, what is the main idea that we got out of it? Tell the neighbor what you think first before you write it. Mm -hmm. 
I like the way I hear some bigger. economy grew through the establishment of trade routes, allowing them to surpass others. I got traders, grow, surpass, and establish. See how I did that? Who's got one that is different than mine and willing to share? If you don't have one, copy mine. If you didn't do one on your own, copy mine, and you're going to try the next one on your own. Larissa, let's hear what you got. The traders wrote in skill and wealth so they could pass um, others with their good establishment of trade routes. Excellent. Who else is brave enough to read theirs? Michael, let's hear it. The trade routes they used led to growth, so they were able to surpass many countries and establish powerful city states. Excellent. Any others? Write your second. I'll give you about 10 more seconds. Can't come up with your own if you copy mine. We're going to do one more page before we get a reset. Moving on in three, two, one. Okay. Ready? This one's longer. We can at least get our words before we go to reset. Okay? So with each sentence, you choose one word. Okay? Okay, hey, here we go. Early sea trade for the Phoenicians was actually very limited. Pick your words. Write it down. Early sea trade for the Phoenicians was actually very limited. Write your word. Number two. Most of their routes were within sight of land because other civilizations had dominated trade in the Mediterranean Sea. Mm 
Number three, Crete, an island located in the Mediterranean, was the first powerful trade center in ancient history. Make your word. What's the name again? Crete. Crete. Number four. As a result, the Phoenicians gave up some trading opportunities to the stronger seafaring nations like Crete. Seafaring. Seafaring. You should have four words right now. Number five. The patterns of trade change as a series of great political changes affected the once calm trading world. Number six, foreign invaders took control of Crete and continued to capture and sack other powerful city-states one by one. One more. Draft six. Last but not least, in this world of confusion and change, the Phoenicians suddenly became trade leaders and developed a rich and powerful trade empire while other sea powers became weaker. When you have seven words written down, your seven most important words, you may wash hands, get your snack, and line up for big size. I'm going to